Welcome to Kids Church Online. I'm Pastor Randy. Today we have begun a God's Army series in our Kids Church. And today what we're talking about, who is in charge? You know who the ultimate authority is? Do you know who the commander-in-chief is? Jesus is our commander-in-chief. Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 through 11 it talks about Jesus and it says this that God has highly exalted him and put on him the name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Jesus is ruler over everything. Since Jesus is the commander-in-chief, we should choose to obey him. The fact is, Jesus said to his followers in John chapter 14, verse 15, If you love me, you will obey what I command. We need to obey God, not just because he's the authority, because he's the person in charge, but we need to obey him because we love him. John 14, 15. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Hi, Sydney. Hi, Tester Randy. I wanted to tell you about something that happened with Jesus. Okay, what happened? Well, there was a follower of Jesus. His name was Peter. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, you remember him? Okay. And Jesus went to actually to uh, Peter's house, and his mother-in-law was there. Really? Yeah, yeah. his mother-in-law was there, but she was feeling sick. Oh, no, did she eat some bad pizza? No, I, don't, I don't think she ate some bad pizza, but she wasn't feeling well, and she even had a fever. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's, it's tough. But Jesus went in touched her, and she uh, got well immediately. She started feeling better right away. Jesus can do that. That's right, because he has all authority. Other people heard about it, and the Bible tells us that when evening came, many who were even demon-possessed were brought to him, and he drove out those evil spirits with a word, and then he healed all of the sick. That's amazing. That's true. We serve an awesome God. Yeah, we do serve an awesome God. And the Bible tells us when Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross over to the other side of the lake. So they went to get into the boat. But a teacher of the law came to Jesus right then. And do you know what he said? He said, hey, do you want to come to my house? No, no, he didn't say that, but that was a good guess. The teacher said to him, he said, he said to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. I will follow you wherever you go. And that's what we should do too. Whatever Jesus, wherever Jesus leads, we should follow. We need to do what Jesus wants us to do, and we need to follow him. Let's follow Jesus. Sometimes we can get stubborn. Sometimes we don't want other people to tell us what to do. Sometimes we don't like to listen to others. We just want to do what we feel like doing. But the Bible makes it clear that we should follow Jesus. He said, if you love me, you'll obey what I command. One of the greatest ways we can show love 
is by obeying those who are in authority over us. I encourage you, humble yourself and choose to obey. Let's obey Jesus. He is our commander-in-chief. Hey, hey, hey! As a bonus story, get your Bible and look up Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. And you'll read about a guy who was a commander in the army, and he met Jesus. Take time to read that today, Luke chapter 7, verse 1 through 10. Have a great day, and I'll see you around like a donut.